Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Neo Auto, and for today's video, we're gonna be discussing Jeep trucks. Now, for many years, there have been rumors about Jeep bringing back a truck, but since 1992, they haven't released anything. Well, after all this time, it looks like Jeep is finally going to bring back a truck. I've been doing some research, and believe it or not, Jeep has an extensive truck history. So in this video, I'm gonna be discussing the latest Jeep truck news, and I'm also gonna give you a little history on Jeep trucks. So let's get started. The Jeep Gladiator. A beautiful brute. Yes, there was a time when Jeep made trucks. And they didn't just make a few models, they made several over the course of decades. My Jeep pickup challenges you guys to take that hill. Easy, you got it. Jeep was producing trucks that were going head to head with Chevy, Ford, and Dodge. And they proved to be very capable. See a Jeep dealer for test results that prove who's got the best traction. Jeep Gladiator trucks, or J Series, were produced from 1963 up until 1987. That is a long run for a platform. Oh, we did it! The J Series was a full size pickup up capable of heavy duty work. Oh, don't worry, lady, the truck's okay. But by the 1980s, it was starting to become outdated, and as a result, sales started to slow. Now, around the same time, Jeep was experimenting with other styles of pickup trucks. The CJ models were increasing in popularity, so Jeep decided to make a pickup version. They called it the Scrambler. The lowest price 4x4 pickup you can buy. It seemed like a great idea. Take the popular CJ and give it a pickup bed. Initially, it had some success, but as the years went by, the sales started to dwindle. The Scrambler was not the success Jeep hoped it would be, but they weren't about ready to give up. Bronco 2 never made it. In 1984, Jeep released the all-new Cherokee. The Cherokee is known as one of the first compact SUVs. Even to this day, the XJ remains a very popular vehicle. People loved it for its rugged, compact design. Its uniframe construction and quadrilink suspension made it great for off-roading. But why am I telling you about the Cherokee? Well, the very next year, Jeep released the Comanche, a Cherokee-based pickup that was designed to compete in the mid-size segment. Jeep Comanche, it picks up where Ford Ranger and Toyota leave off. Like the Cherokee, the Comanche was a rugged vehicle, and at the time, it was one of the best handling pickup trucks on the market. Just look how easy it goes over this road course. As far as the ride and handling go, I don't think that there's a truck here today that we've driven that can match the combination of ride and handling that the Comanche has. Really an exceptional job. It seemed as though things were getting better for Jeep. They had several models selling well, but the truth was the company that owned Jeep, AMC, was suffering financially. And in 1987, Jeep Corporation was sold to Chrysler. This would result in the demise of Jeep pickup trucks. Chrysler continued the production of the Comanche, but as sales started to slow, they decided to discontinue it. Jeep trucks were officially dead, and from that point forward, they would only make SUVs. But the legacy lives on. Some Jeep trucks managed to survive and are still on the roads today, but you don't see them very often. That's why I ended up buying this Comanche. So Jeep hasn't made a pickup since 1992, which really is a shame because the trucks proved themselves to be very capable, but Jeep hasn't completely given up on the pickup truck. Let me explain. As far back as 2005, Jeep has been considering bringing back a truck model. The first concept was called the Gladiator, which really didn't make sense. This was a Wrangler with a pickup bed. If anything, it should have been called the Scrambler. But names aside, it didn't really matter. People were excited for a new Jeep truck release. You did it! Congratulations! The only problem was it, it never happened. But over the years, Jeep continued to release concept truck models. Some of these included the J12, the FC, the new Comanche, and my personal favorite, the Crew Chief. I mean, seriously, Jeep, this is such a cool concept. Why can't you bring this to production? For over 10 years, Jeep continued to tease us with concept trucks, but none of them ever made it to production. It's kind of like how Volkswagen releases a new concept bus every single year, and they never make it. It's like they know we want the vehicle so bad, but why is it taking so long? But then, in 2016, a breakthrough. The CEO of FCA, Sergio Marchionne, said that Jeep will finally release a new truck. It will be a pickup version of the JL Wrangler. This seems like a really smart move by Jeep. The Wrangler just received a redesign, and its popularity is at an all-time high. So, when is it coming? Well, according to the latest rumors, it looks like it's going to arrive next year. And it may just be revealed by the end of this year. So a new Jeep truck is finally going to be a reality. But I'm sure you're wondering, 
what exactly will this truck look like? Well, thanks to spy photographers, we have a good idea of what the truck will look like. This video was recorded by YouTube user Dole Clutch Productions. In the video, we can see what is clearly a Wrangler truck prototype. He also recorded the front of the truck. You can tell by the headlights, this is definitely a Wrangler. I think that Dole Clutch Productions did a great job recording this video. He managed to get both the front and back of the truck in one single video. This has to be my favorite shot. As popular as Wranglers are right now, this thing is going to be a massive hit. Now be sure to check out his original video. I'll leave a link in the description. Now here's where everything comes together. The talented people at JL Wrangler Forums have created a 3D render of what they think the truck will look like. Now it's almost a guarantee the truck will be available with four doors, but it's still unknown whether a two-door version will be available. Comparing the two, I would say I like the looks of the two-door better than the four-door, but that's just my preference. If the new Jeep truck proves to be a success, maybe Jeep will bring back the Comanche or the J-Series trucks. That would be something. Until then, it seems like a guarantee Jeep is back in the truck business. I can see why people are excited for a new Jeep truck. I mean, if you think about it, pickup trucks are still really popular, and the Wranglers are at an all-time high, so if you put the two together, it's really a no-brainer. As far as the name goes, I think they're going to call it the Scrambler, not the Gladiator, because the Gladiator was associated with the J-Series Jeep trucks. The Scrambler was associated with the CJ Series, which eventually became the Wrangler. As I'm recording this, <laughs> sorry about that. As I'm recording this video, I'm driving a 1987 Jeep Comanche. I bought it about a month ago, and so far I really like it, but as you saw just there, I have a little bit of trouble with the transmission. It doesn't want to quite shift right. I'm having a guy look at it later this week, so hopefully they figure it out. There's just something so cool about a Jeep truck. Now it's important to remember that Ford is bringing back the Bronco for 2020, so I think there's a good chance that the reason the Jeep truck is coming out in 2020 is because they want to compete with the new Bronco. They want to keep the Wrangler super popular. They know that there's people interested in the Bronco, but they might be able to sway them with the truck. So what do you guys think about the Jeep truck? Are you excited? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks so much for watching this video. And also, if you like my new truck, let me know in the comments below. In the future, I plan on doing some work to it. I have some new parts that are actually on the way from Summit Racing, so let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of that. I'm Neo Auto, and thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel today if you'd like to keep up to date with the latest car news, and I'll see you real soon.